<laughs> you're, you're really sweet, but th this, this isn't going to happen. Why not? Becca's mother has just brought a new house after a divorce from her father and it is their first day in this house. They talk about sorts of things like why her dad cheated, the new house, and her graduation, which is on the way. Becca then goes to see her best friend at her workplace and the mother stays home. As she is trying to fix the TV in her bedroom, a pool stick falls on her window. She gets scared and goes out to see if there is someone. She then bumps into a pool boy and he introduces himself as the guy who used to clean the pool before, and that he did not know that the owners had sold the house. As he was leaving, Becca's mom was like she and her daughter were talking about getting someone who can clean the pool and that if his rates are not high, he can get the job. They agreed upon the payment and right away, he started cleaning the pool. In the house, Becca's mom could not stop gazing at the pool boy because she was lonely for quite some time, so she needed someone in her life. When Becca came back from her friends, she was surprised to find the pool boy and she immediately got a crush on him to the extent that she forgot that she had ice cream in her hands that was melting. Next day, after Becca left with her friend Jackie, the pool boy aka Adam came to their home claiming that he had come to pick the buckets that he had left behind and the mum allows him in. In the house she tried to ask him more information concerning him and then Tawny her ex, showed up at the door asking why she had not yet signed the divorce papers. He also came with a new car and his new girlfriend to make her more jealous, and indeed she became more jealous. Adam came out of the house and Gail Becca's mum introduced him to Becca's dad as her pool boy. After Tawny left, she got so furious and told Adam everything that happened between them for making her feel jealous and trying to separate her from their daughter yet he was the one who cheated on her. Adam was like he thinks she is fine without Tawny. She then asked him why it is okay for a man to date a woman half his age and it is not for a woman to do so. Adam was like he also does not know why, he then went upstairs in her room to help her fix her TV signal and she followed. After what was done was done, she was like it is a mistake, because she has a daughter of his age and that she is old to be his mother. This pissed off Adam because he had a crush on her and so he left and Gail was like it is better off that way. So what Adam the pool boy did to piss her off was to piss her daughter Becca, and it was so easy for him because she already had a crush on him. Her mum from work found them playing together in the pool, requested to talk to Adam alone and she was like she thought she made it clear for Adam to stay away because what they had was a one-time thing. Adam was like it is not fair because she says that he is too young for her and he is too old for her daughter. He asks her where he really falls because he doesn't get it. As he was leaving, he asked Becca for a date out on Saturday night and when that day reached, she lied to her mum that she was going to Jackie's. To make the mother jealous, Adam picked Becca from the house compound in his car. They had a good time and ended up at Jackie's workplace for ice cream. Jackie then realized that something was off with him. When Becca got back home, the mum was waiting and they run into a fight. One day, Gail gets back home unexpectedly to pick up a flash drive that she had forgotten home, and then she runs into Adam and Becca at the back of the house playing fun. From here she got pissed, asked Becca to get in the house and asked Adam if he is doing what he is doing to get her jealous. Adam asks if it is working and so Gail fires him and tells him to stay away from their lives. One day, Gail fails to reach Becca and so she goes to Jackie looking for her and she informs her to warn Becca in case she sees her first because Adam is very dangerous and that he may be responsible for the death of their house previous owner. At this moment, Jackie thinks it is Becca with the phone yet it is Adam because they were out together. Using Becca's phone, he sends her a message inviting her to her house at 11 pm. That night, Jackie went to Becca's home, found a note saying find me behind the pool on the door. Standing near the pool that was empty, Adam came from behind her back and he pushed her into the pool. Jackie broke her leg and screamed out loud. Becca and her mum came to her rescue. Adam then removes the note from the door. Gail then went to look for help from her ex Tony and told him everything that had happened, and all she wanted was for Tony to scare Adam away. So Tony went to Adam's place and tried to scare him away. Guess what Adam did? He beat himself seriously, took pictures, and sent them to Becca. Becca then went to her dad's new place blaming him for what he had done to his boyfriend not knowing that she was used as bet for Adam, to know her dad's address. That night at Tony's place, he was going to have some fun with his gal friend and in the jacuzzi, Adam had put some liquid that burned his skin, got him blind, and was admitted to the hospital. 
When Gail went to see Tawny in the hospital after his gal friend explained to her what had happened to him, she right away knew that Adam was responsible. One day Adam sneaks Becca to one of the pools that he cleans and tries to take advantage of her. The mistake he did was mentioning her mom and this pissed Becca off. She asked why he always talks about her mom whenever they make out then she realized that he has a crush on her mom. She runs away to apologize to her mom for everything and for not listening to her from the beginning, and Gail explains to her that it was only a one-time thing and from then he got crazy over me. Gail then suggests they leave the house right away. As they were packing, Adam kidnapped the both of them in their house and put them to sleep. When Gail woke up, she was lying on the bed full of flowers and when she went downstairs, Adam had made dinner and he officially wanted to make her his. She then hears someone screaming out in the pool only to realize that it was Becca tied in there as the pool was getting filled with water to drown her. Gail and Becca managed to defend themselves and Adam was taken in by the police. If you have come this far, the name of the film is called Pool Boy Nightmare 2020 directed by Rolf Konevsky with the beautiful cast of Jessica Morris, Tanner Zagarino, Ellie Darcy Alden, Cynthia Aileen Strahan, Clark Moore, and so on. Thanks for watching and kindly consider subscribing.